Okay, <laughs> I'm going to narrate the first part of this because Alex and I, for the past two days, have been trying to make this video. It is crazy. I don't know how much time we've spent outside. The, the original goal of the video was to show our new crony. Uh, we were going to take the BB guns, the, the Redneck Modified uh, BB gun with the camo tape, and we were going to compare it against the, um, the Crossman 1077 AS. Well, the crony was working the first day because it was uh, nicely overcast and it was working. Of course, it took me an hour to get it set up because I got the laptop there, I've got the kit that goes with it, uh, with the cable that transmits the uh, data to the computer, which later you can save. You can see there we, we were getting duplicate shots. Okay. Don't get distracted, boy. But the uh, problem was I didn't realize is that I had put accidentally put rusty BBs uh, in the that Red Rider there. And we started wondering what in the world was going on. And finally figured out that it was jammed. And so that day was basically wasted because the Crossman uh, was out of gas. And I have to order those things uh, online. So... It's amazing we spent three or four hours, plus it rained there. <laughs> it actually rained today too. So there I'm showing the uh, Red Riders stuck. So I thought, well, what we'll do is maybe try to salvage the video and we'll use the frog loop to maybe try to rehabilitate the BBs. And so here I'm just now discovering that they are rusty and I had put, in rust I had put rusty BBs in the BB gun. Thankfully, I didn't put it in the Red Rider, the uh, nothing fancy Red Rider, um, because it's still in good shape. This is an older Red Rider, and, and I will fix it. I'm not going to let it go, because it still uh, has some sentimental value to Alex and I. Okay, this is where we pick up today. It's like, all right, Alex, come on, let's go. Let's, let's do this, and then look, just look. We're under our big tree, but it's raining. I cannot feel any rain because this tree is providing shelter. We were going to set the crony up out there. And it just started Our new raining. crony. And, uh... Don't want these to get rusty. Well, they're already rusty. I know. We tried to do this two days ago and it bombed. It's fade against us. We're going to get this done, though, I promise. Because we have to draw a winner Eventually. for the frog lube. Put those in there. I had put, accidentally oh. put rusty babies in the Red Rider. This one. And it jammed. There's a BB stuck in the barrel now. We were out of gas in the Crossman. And just the, I couldn't find any. I'm going to have to order those 88 gram tubes, canisters online. And everything was working against us. And now, well, it stopped raining. So maybe we can get the crony back out. But what we're going to do is treat these, uh, Where'd you get the crud from? In there. <laughs> Where's all this stuff coming from? I don't know, Dad. He's in here. I think we found a, our first use for the frog lube. So what we're going to do is try to clean these up. Let me see if I can show you how rusty they are. I don't know if you can see, but they're really bad. Hopefully the BB's inside this Red Rider, the nothing fancy pink special edition which just got rained on <laughs> here go take that <laughs> in the garage <laughs> hopefully it has good BBs in it what I'm going to do is spray these down and let them soak the frog lube okay it's really starting to rain now look the crossing's getting more <laughs> wet yeah, go ahead and take it back in. It doesn't watch the BBs. It doesn't have be, uh, gas anyway. What I'm gonna do is let these soak and wipe them off. Holy cow! Now it's really raining. Okay, we'll be back in a little bit. <laughs> Are we ever gonna get this video done? Maybe. <laughs> Alex and I've been trying to do this for two days. It doesn't start raining. Again. It's really a bummer. It, uh, what I'm gonna try to do here is put to get these babies unstuck. 
Okay, so our other thing here was we were trying to clean up these rusty babies because we were just trying to salvage them. You can see how rusty the frog lube is. Alex, why don't you go ahead and take a few shots. Okay, that sounded like a brisk, clean... Can you see what it says? Still just says zero. Okay, try it again. Well, it may be too cloudy. It may be that we're just destined to never get this video done. Yes. <laughs> hmm. Uh-huh. What are you aiming at? I don't know. I'm looking for squirrels. <laughs> Alex and I can't get a break. Mm -mm. <laughs> you know, it says that the chronograph will work in overcast skies. As a matter of fact, it, it works better if it's sort of a consistent overcast, but I don't think that includes rainy a rainy day so it's not picking up try it again Alex yesterday it was working fine well Alex maybe the only thing we can accomplish this Labor Day is actually giving away a bottle of frog lube okay. here's all the names I think we had 90 something Go ahead and lay the nut and fancy pink red rider down, which is still a great little BB gun. The story behind that is that's the one that uh, nut and fancy and PFI dude shot in the desert. You remember that, Alex? We were going to auction it off for a fundraiser. Well, sadly, the lady who organizes the fundraiser, her sister got killed, and that was last year. So the, the fundraiser, the pink bandana ball, has been put off indefinitely. So now I must find some other good purpose to auction this off for, which we will do. You can see it's dated there. What does it say, 2010? Yeah. I had bought it then. We did a video on this like two years ago. <clears throat> yeah, I know. We were shooting it, and it's cool. It's a cool little BB gun. It really shoots well. But so anyway, that's the story behind that. Let's try to, you know what I want Just you to one do? one name, only one name? One at name for now. What I want you to do, Alex, is, is see how they're all bunched up? Yeah. I want you to like ruffle them up. Alrighty. Like that, while you're drawing a name. And once you feel like you've got them mixed up good, pull one out. Okay, okay. <laughs> You're not looking. Okay, hand it to me. And I'll show it. Okay, the winner of the frog lube is... Can you see that? Yep, it says... Tadpole something? Tadpole 696. Tadpole 696, and what did he say? It smells, smells like the stem of a flower. Dot, 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 LOL. I have no idea. Aw. <laughs> well, congratulations, <laughs> Tadpole. Of course, this is my bottle. You're going to get a fresh bottle straight from the factory. So, congratulations, Tadpole. Now, I think I think giving away one bottle is boring. You're right, Dad. I think, <laughs> I think you always need at least three winners in any contest. So, what I'm going to do is these winners are going to get the smaller bottle, though, because... I'm, I'm not a rich guy, but I, <laughs> I'll have to sell the nut and fancy BB gun to get postage if I'm not careful. So, okay, pull out one, pull out two more names, one at a time. Okay. Ruffle it up. Okay. And the winner is Brew by You. What does it say? Brew by you. Brew by you. I don't know if you can print it off so small. And he says, Hey Tony, I think frog lube smells like a cross between sweet tea and soup beans. Thanks for the contest. <laughs> Hope you and your family have a great weekend. Soup Thank beans. you. <laughs> he obviously has never smelled granny panties. Obviously. <laughs> well, that's kind of weird. Why we okay. <laughs> well, you know, I, I was, it's not that I wanted to. You go to your granny's drawer and just... 
Well, it's not that I wanted to smell them. I was, you know, kind of. She only had a two room. You know, my grandmother and grandfather lived in a two room shack for most of their life. They had to. Um, they had one room was basically the living area where they slept, and it had a big wood stove in it. And the other room was basically the kitchen and kitchen and dining room. And they had a big stove in there that you actually put wood in and burned, you know, to burn to heat the stove up. Right. And we would take a, sh a bath on the back porch. She would heat water up and uh, and put it in this big metal tub. That's how we took baths. So we would always fight to see who went first because nobody wanted the after water. All right, Dad, this video can't be too long. <laughs> I know. Okay. Tell your life story. Enough, enough, enough life story. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. But anyway, that's where the granny panties comes from. Okay. And moth balls. Okay, this is for another small bottle. Juggalo 10 mm. Juggalo 10 millimeter. Oh yeah, why are you saying mm? <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> so, I wonder if we could actually see. I wonder if you can actually see that. It smells like methanol cigarettes. Oh, that's right. We didn't tell yes. what he said. It smells like. It smells like menthol cigarettes. It's wonderfully delicious. Okay, guys. Well, I'm not going to say our video was a failure. Um, it, was. it was a success. We, we gave away three bottles of frog lube, one big one and two small ones. And uh, I'm not going to let the rain or a fussy chronograph get me down. Alex and I decided that since our video was a bomb, we were going to have a little fun. So... We're going to see if the nut and fancy pink red rider can put a hole in this can. All right. Hold on, let me zoom in. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! Alex, hold it still. What is that? It's a spray can. Uh. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to put it, hold it still. I'm sorry, I keep looking at it. You can look at it in the video. Ah! <laughs> oh, baby didn't come out. Oh! <laughs> Your mom's gonna be mad. There's now a patch of red grass. Anyway, thanks Alex for helping me with the giveaway. You're welcome. And uh, thanks for everyone who entered. And I'm going to have another giveaway soon. And it will involve um, research and data and philosophy. What do you think about that? Sounds deep. <laughs> it is going to be deep. So, thanks, guys. Bye. <laughs> okay, try one more time, just for the fun of it.